And Indiana Farmers always take center stage during the Indiana State Fair, but a state program wants you to make them and your products a priority year-round. Sunrise reporter Carrie Klein is live at the State Fairground this morning talking about Indiana Grown, what it means, and how we can all buy and eat local. Carrie, good morning. Good morning, Julia. I am having so much fun here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. We are at the Harvest Pavilion where the Indiana Grown uh, setup is going on. And yes, you're right. It's all about celebrating products that are grown and or produced here in Indiana. And joining me now live is Josh Sig. Josh Josh is with Cousin Willie's Popcorn, and Josh, I love popcorn, so I'm excited about this. We're going to get to do some tasting here in a minute, but tell me how long you all have been around and what your Indiana-grown story is. Uh, we're a business that's been around since 1944. We're family-owned and operated. Uh, right now, what we're doing with our new products that you're showing on the table is they're 100% grown in Indiana. Uh, they're all natural. They're non-GMO products. So that's really where our focus is right now. Called Simply Better, and we talked about this. I'm a big Skinny Pop popcorn fan. That is not produced in Indiana. No. So we're going to do some taste testing here because you're telling me that you've taste tested this and people say this is better than the yeah. skinny pop. All right. All right. Here we go. Very good. This is really, really good. That's what we've been hearing from everybody. And that's what I love about popcorn. It's so simple. It's got a lightly salted flavor. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You said you were going to make me a believer. Yeah. I think you have. And that's the cool thing about this. We can find this in local grocery stores and supermarkets here across central Indiana. Yes, definitely. You can find it in Marsh and Kroger. Uh, Meyer also will probably be coming with some of the items pretty soon as well. So you can definitely find it in the Indiana markets. All right. Thanks so much. I'm going to be back to get a little bit more of that in a minute. Thanks, Josh. All right. Now we're going to make our way over to Mary Bratcher with Amber Waves. Mary, you're all about granola and grains. Tell me how long you all have been around in your Indiana grown story. Absolutely. Yeah, Amber Waves has actually only been around this year. So this is brand new to the market. Um, it's really, really exciting way to get Indiana grains into the grocery stores and into people's pantries so that they can bake for themselves. All right, I'm going to hand you the mic and let you tell us real briefly about your products while I taste test some of your granola. Absolutely. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, we have a blueberry granola and we actually have four different varieties of, of um, granola. So we have blueberry, a strawberry, we have an apple and we have a pumpkin. So we have four different varieties of granola and then we all have a grain line. So all of the grains are 100% produced in Indiana. It all comes from Carthage Mill. Everything is grown in Carthage. So um, yeah, it's a really exciting way it's just to get in 100% Indiana products into the grocery stores. Mary, this is excellent. Again, this is the great thing about Indiana Grown is it's identifying for the consumer the products made here locally so they can buy locally and support the local economy. Absolutely. Well, as soon as they walk up to that kiosk, they can find all of those Indiana products in one spot and then they can, yeah, they can take those Indiana products and they can find Indiana products throughout the whole store. So. Very good. Thank you so much. We are going to do some more tasting and meet some more Indiana grown producers coming up in our next hour on Sunrise. But Julia. I got, I got some eating to do, so <laughs> in the meantime, I'm going to be doing that. Well, I was going to say, as teachers are instructing their children all over the state this morning, make sure you share <laughs> and bring some back to all of us. It looks you really good. It. All right, Carrie, thank you.